Ranthan Khadak is a trek that has become very close to me off plate. That's because it's such a unique trek that not many of our trekkers have experienced such uniqueness in our country. The first thing that you will strike you is the name of the trek, Ranthan Khadak. Khadak means clearings. Clearings are this big, wide open space surrounded by forests. And that makes it very magical because you're trekking through the forest and suddenly you come into these clearings and you get this magnificent views of forests, the mountains. Now you may have seen my earlier videos where I talk a lot about the clearings on the Kedar Kanta trek and I tell you, you know, go and do the trek because of the clearings, it's very nice, fantastic. And then comes along Ranthan Khadak, which kind of beats all the clearing treks that I've seen. In fact, we camp on day two of the trek on one such clearing, taking in this entire spectacle that happens on us. And I have seen the experience of sun setting on this golden color. The green becomes golden color on these uh, clearings. So it's a, a magical moment to do this trek. If you go in the seasons of March and April, then Ranthan Khadak is the rhododendron trek of our country. Again, you may have seen some of my earlier videos where I talk about the Devriyatal Chandrashila trek as the rhododendron trek of Uttarakhand. I talk about the Goichala trek as the, you know, the rhodo trek of the east. But then nobody knew that there was this trek called Ranthan Khadak, which beats all of these rhododendron treks for the density and the you know, the sheer variety of rhodos that you get to see on this trek. It's unbelievable. The canopy of rhododendron trees that you walk under, this trek is fantastic. So even if you do this trek in the non-season and you don't see this flowering rhododendrons, you're still walking under the canopy of uh, these trees, which is a magical uh, moment uh, of this trek. So this trek is uh, absolutely fantastic for rhodos. And finally, the mountain views on this trek. Again, trekking in Kumaon is not something which trekkers have done. They've all trekked in the Ghadwal side of Uttarakhand. Uh, very few trekkers have stepped into Kumaon, but Kumaon comes closest to Nepal and the big majestic mountains that you see uh, in the Nepal uh, Himalayas. And on this trek is what you will get to see are the big majestic mountains absolutely up close. So the Panchachuli peaks and the massive right there, right in front, you're walking alongside it and it's just going along with you as you see these peaks. Then India's highest mountain, Nanda Devi, you'll get to see the entire dome. You'll also get to see Nanda Kot. I know you get to see Nanda Devi on this, uh, on this trek and, and the trekkers are going gaga over it. But the real mountain to see is Nanda Kot, the beautiful mountain which you get to see from it's a bottom uh, to the top. What a beautiful mountain and the sun's, uh, you know, setting on it and glistening it and, you know, making it uh, that whole alpine glow that you get to see on this mountain is uh, fantastic. So, Ranthan Khadak, a very special trek. Not many trekkers have stepped foot on it. So, my advice is to just do this trek before it gets uh, crowded because it's a unique trek which you will not uh, see too many in our country these days.